Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. Thank you for clicking. This is episode 80 on Mr. Bright Project. Alright. So again I come your way with a beautiful episode and in this episode we're going to be discussing about coping. Yes, coping is very necessary in most of the recent modern architectures you will see a coping on the tip of the roof block work. You understand? And it brings some kind of beauty to your dream house. When you look at my 3D, look at the tip of it. You see the purple or is it the violet? Yes, at the tip of it. Yes, all around, that is what we call the coping. Copings are um, a bit expensive based on the type of designs that you want. Some people will go with parapet, okay, yes, but with such buildings as a hidden roof, having a coping is the best option. And the coping, there are so many designs, okay, some people come with a template, which comes in a plastic form, others you have to use a wawa board 2x4 to carve those designs, are you with me? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So in your view, this is my first floor apartment. To your left is a two-bedroom, two-unit apartment. And to your right, also, I have a two-bedroom apartment. Everything so beautiful, unique. Okay, I'm going to have bar uh, is it barristers all around here. Man, I love it when I see the view. It is breathtaking and it's encouraging. Okay, so encouraging. See that the front of the house have been cleared. This entire area is so airy. You know, the air that comes there, I could just feel it even though I'm not in the house. <laughs> I can just imagine myself at the top there having some fresh air, you know, just sitting on my lazy chair, zipping some tea with chocolate, you know. Yeah, a small landlord there. So I asked my carpenter, Joshua Adam, to... Uh, give me an estimate uh, for the coping materials. So that's what he's showing on the screen. So our previous expenditure is as shown. Okay, three three hundred and thirty one thousand three hundred and forty three, and then I bought cement. Okay, I keep buying cement fifty bucks, and then the coping materials were amount of three thousand seven hundred and sixteen. Even that, it was not enough. <laughs> I had to buy extra. So these are the materials we're going to use for the coping. So Mother Manji, if you're watching, and Mr. David, if you're watching, okay, these materials, and because my house is not too super huge, but I have some of the plywood, uh, sorry, the wawa boards available. So they're going to be adding that one to it. Assuming I'm buying fresh boards, it will be more. Okay, it would have been more. So total bags of cement so far is 570 bags that I've used for my project um, since the beginning of the roof work. Okay, the beginning of the roof work. Now we've bought so much bags of cement, a lot of cement, because I started the first floor and I started documenting how much of cement we, we will be using, you understand? So right from the first floor block work, the cement that we've been using all the way till now, 570. Now you can see how the coping board work have been formed. Okay, this is very expensive, but not to scare you. Are you with me? Because the, the wawa board, you would have to take it to the machine, for machine to cut them into, I think, there is a one by four. Yes, they have a one by three. Yes, one by three. Are you with me? The machine would have to give them that kind of one by three measurement that they need. And then they use two by four for all the designs. Are you with me? So two by four and one more board that will be cut into one by three to give you the zigzag shape as you see. So the depending on the design that you want will determine the quantity of boards you would have to buy and then the sawmill would have to cut. So the cost of the sawmill cutting, cost of board, the nails, 
and then also you have to get iron rods here we can decide to use 11.5 we can use 3 quarter or 10 mm whichever way you want to go depending on what you're looking for so look at the view of my area isn't that beautiful so beautiful okay so beautiful so my entire roof yeah they've made the whole place dirty but we will clean it up so this is how it's going to be and then there's going to be another board at the other side so now they've put in the board at the edge which is the front from the inside there's going to be another board all around and then the iron rod is going to sit inside and then they will lock it you understand yes and then casting will take place so imagine I have to get a chippings. So if you if you don't have a set of stones or let me say chippings, you would have to buy one, because this takes a lot a lot of stones. Okay, yes, and then the quality of the cement and it needs to be very rich, so that it brings the beauty. Once they remove the board, it looks beautiful. You understand? Yes, and then sometimes people will want to dress it, but for me, I don't I don't want to dress it just. Give it the cement and dre. If you give it a cement and dre, do the painting and that is it. It will be blinking. <laughs> so this is how the entire roof top is looking. Look at the roofing sheet from Cape Epra. Isn't that beautiful? So you see how the final works looks like. Okay, this takes a lot of boards. So if I'm preparing an estimate for you and I miss this one, man that's a lot that's a big blow okay so copings are beautiful and i think getting one on your house is very nice okay it is just next to parapet are you with me it is next to parapet so beautiful so beautiful so this is how coping c-o-u-p-i-n-g is how coping is done okay yes so once they're done again i have to ask them to clean the entire rooftop the entire rooftop would have to be cleaned they mess the whole roofing sheet up but we'll clean it up and then ensure that everything is safe are you with me yes everything is safe so from here i have to ensure i have enough sand cement that i'm going to be using i have to use 42.5 r because it has to be rich and quality and strong so this is my service road area i did the same coping on the fence wall the new fence wall that i erected you understand so, so in between the pillars i asked them to do a coping right there so it will go downstairs so this is it we've come downstairs now so this is the service road um pillars we're doing a coping right here there's going to be iron rods right in there so the cost of iron rods i'll be bringing it in the next episode so you know how much i spent on iron rods it actually escaped me prior to the preparation of the video so i would have to lo look for it and and then put it in the next episode okay yes so so far so good this is how our house is looking here yeah, our house because i'm sharing it with all of you and we are all part of this journey inspiring you you're also inspiring me encouraging me so together this is our house okay this is our home okay so if you're out there please my goal is to encourage you and to inspire you to be very determined okay this is all we have to account for when we travel outside ghana that is all our joy to be able to do something home so that you know within ourselves we'll be proud and then our generation and generation upon us will also be proud our parents will be proud but most of it all is a credit to ourselves okay so that your children will not suffer your children will have a place to stay how would you feel if you are if you're gone and perhaps your kids are suffering you know moving from one house to the other it is a dream for each and every one to have their own house are you with me a place you call home there's peace of mind there's no disturbances 
even if it's a two bedroom that is your house you have a peace of mind you understand so for me uh, me being here in dubai my goal is to be able to do something for myself and for my kids okay and a generation yet to come so this is how beautiful our our palace looks like <laughs> the front is so beautiful i just love the front view so beautiful so the coping as you see is taking a good shape all around a good shape all around see how beautiful so once we do the casting and we remove the board you will see that beauty okay so finally the cement that i talked about is ready we bought 50 bags 42.5 r it is ready for casting the coping the coping takes a lot of cement you know those kinds of designs they are, the cement ratio is higher because we want them to be very rich so that it doesn't fall off you understand they have to be very rich so this is my corridor when you enter the main entrance so in this corner here, this is where actually I'm going to have some flowers, like a fountain design in the corner there. But apparently I'm having cement bags right there. And when the time comes, I will show you everything. Okay, so lovely people. Um, this is how far I have come on my project. In the next episode, I'll be showing you in episode 81 as to how beautiful the coping you know, looks like when it was cast. Are you with me? yes so if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't share it to your friends from me to you shalom god bless you wherever you are bye bye